everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the asteroids game in c++ series using sfml and in this video we are going to do one of the uh, most important parts which is going to be making sure that the asteroids spawn randomly and keep spawning continuously at different positions and like that it works like that so uh, in order to implement that you can see that uh, we, ha we are currently only creating one asteroid but we want to create a system that ast uh, spawns new asteroids uh, like for example every three seconds so for that we you could actually create an entity which will be like an asteroid spawner but uh, since our engine is not uh, you know this is not like in a rigid framework in which you need to create an entity for everything we can just implement it inside of our main loop without much trouble for this we will create a float called asteroid spawn time which will set to 3 and actually it will be better to make it a constant uh, say asteroid spawn time and up here we can actually define it like that and set it to equal to 3 now down here uh, it now works and uh, does not cause any problems and uh, in each uh, in each iteration of the loop uh, we before we call like the actual update and render measures we are going to subtract the delta time from the asteroid spawn time now in the end if the asteroid spawn time is equal to zero uh, or less than zero for that matter uh, we are going to push into the entities uh, our new asteroid and we are just going to get the random direction for the actual initial direction and do note that since we are doing this after the loop we don't actually need to use the to add list or anything we can just do it directly here and we are uh, going to set the asteroid spawn time back to the asteroid spawn time constant and uh, we are going to remove this line here we are going to just remove that now afterwards uh, we have got this but currently our asteroid will spawn in the same position so if I run this what you can see is that our asteroids keep spawning in the same initial position that we set in our constructor so as soon as three seconds pass one asteroid with a random direction spawns and then another one and uh, they will all spawn with the same initial position which is not exactly what I am looking forward to so for this we will uh, we, we will like to randomize the position as well so in here we are going to add another argument to the constructor which is going to be a vector 2 called position which will set for example initially to the same thing and will initialize our entity with that position now for the direction we are going to actually make it a default value equal to get random direction and similarly we can actually do the same thing for the position we'll have a function called asteroid get random position a uh, static function which we can use here now we don't need to pass in any arguments for the constructor unless we need to spawn a specific kind of asteroid which we don't so we'll just leave it empty and now for the actual get uh, uh, random position function I'm going to copy the get random direction function then uh, just rename it and now we need to make sure that we uh, change our distributions we have got here it's going to go from a minimum of asteroid width by 2 to a maximum of screen width minus uh, the half of asteroid width and we are using the same formula that we used to determine when to flip the asteroid direction here we are basically using the same values uh, in order to make sure that our asteroid always spawns in the correct range now for this distribution I'm going to call it x-axis because it's only the x-axis distribution and we are going to uh, just call it using the it's like a functor so we can call it using parentheses uh, even though it's not a function it does implement overload this operator and we are going to pass in our generator now we are going to copy and paste this and create another one called y-axis which we are going to again call with the generator to represent the y-axis like uh, it's supposed to and of course we'll change this to asteroid height, screen height and asteroid height here as well and that works and uh, that should allow our asteroids to spawn mm, like uh, completely at random positions and at specific intervals now let's run that and see whether it works or not and you can see that uh, uh, as soon as it spawned, it spawned at like a random point up there and then the next one spawns at another point and uh, they are completely spawning randomly and uh, yeah it, it works quite well we, we, we can see that our asteroids are working quite well so yeah guys this is pretty much it for this video and uh, it was quite interesting but I'll see you in the next one in which we'll start implementing the most important part of our game which is going to be the physics system to handle collisions between player and bull, uh, asteroids and other things. So that's going to be pretty awesome stay tuned for that I'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and bye.